Hi guys! Welcome to another video! <laughs> Ang tagal na ng huli. I know. Ayun, but in this video, as you can see sa title, magkakwenta lang ako. It's actually a throwback story because it happened two years ago when I'm facing one of the biggest challenges sa buhay ko. When I'm diagnosed with an ovarian cyst that has to be removed. But it in this video, uh, I just wanna highlight with you guys how God works how he heals and how he provides and if you're asking why am i sharing it today when it's two years ago already <laughs> uh, because it is as fresh as yesterday and i want to remember uh, and upon remembering kung ano yung mga nangyari before sobrang it is a joyful memory na worthy to be shared so, if you want to know his story over my life, just keep on watching. So, I na, uh, I was diagnosed with ovarian cyst. Uh, na sobrang laki na niya. Ang effect nun is, nagkakaroon ako ng abdominal distension na hindi ko alam kung bakit. Oh, by the way, kung patalan-talan yung story ko, sorry. Uh, baka maguluhan kayo, but I don't have any script in front of me. I'm just sharing. Nagkakaroon pa lang palaga ako. So, ayun. And, ayun nga, going back, uh, that's two years ago na na-diagnose ako with ovarian cyst. I remember na... September, around September, October of 2018, na-feel ko na, nararamdaman ko na, or nakikita ko na, napapansin ko na na, ano, na lumalaki yung chan ko. Kasi may mga weddings ako na inattendan, na inabayan, <laughs> and I had to buy a girdle para maitago yung bilbil ko. Kasi I thought bilbil siya. And then, so it took me how many months? Kasi around February, March lang ako nagpa-check up sa clinic. Kasi I'm actually working in clinic. Tapos, ayun, when I'm sharing it with my friends, pare-pareho kami na tiniisip namin na bilbil lang. So, exercise, mag-exercise ka, and mag ng ginger tea, ganyan. So, ginawa ko naman. Uh, pero parang part of me, eh, hindi talaga ako at peace na parang may mali. Tapos ngayon ko na lang, nung, nalaman, nung na-diagnose na ako, dun ko na lang binalikan na kaya pala parang lagi akong may UTI, ganun. Tapos may mga episodes ako, ako may, may mga episodes ako of dysmenorrhea na hindi naman, na very unusual kasi wala naman akong pain uh, pag nagkakaroon ako. So, ayun. Then, uh, around March, funny story is that, kasi in a random conversation with the clinic kapag may mga masakit sa amin or masakit yung ulo namin, ganyan, parang random lang yung uh, doc, masakit yung ulo ko. Tapos, ganun lang, inom ka lang gamot, ganyan. So, tinanong kayong doktor namin, isa sa mga doktor namin, sabi ko sa kanya, lumalaki yung chan ko, tapos hinawa kanya yung chan ko, sabi niya sa akin, mag-exercise ka. <laughs> ganun. Pero, ayan, time passed by, hindi na talaga ako mapakali. So, nagpa-check up na ako ng seryoso dun sa isa naming doktor sa clinic. Di ba na sila papangalanan for their privacy? Sabi ko sa kanya, alam ko na hindi ako payat, alam ko na mataba ako, but I feel like there is something wrong. So, dun na nag-start. Dun na nag-start na, ayun, ay, chinek up na ako, and examine ako. Ang tagal niyang pinapress yung chan ko. And then, he asked me to go for an ultrasound. Tapos sinulat niya doon to roll out abdominal mass ovarian cysts. So, hindi ko alam if uh, ayoko lang tanggapin nung time na yun, pero my first response is that bakit naman sinusulat yung ovarian cysts dito? Walang ganun. Walang, walang ganun mangyayari. Walang ganun nangyayari. Tapos pag uwi ko, pinakita ko yung resulta sa ate ko. Uh, pinasakita ko yung request form sa ate ko. Sabi ko pa ka sa kanya, tingnan mo itong si Doc, ano na yung nilalagay sa request form ko. <laughs> but of course, I followed. Kasi nga, part of me is hindi na talaga ako. Is medyo worried na talaga ako. So, nagkaroon ako ng appointment ng March 13, if I remember it correctly. And then, uh, nung nag 
uh, dumating na ulit yung doktor sa klinik kasi duty na niya ulit. Pinalaw up niya ako. Sabi niya sa akin kailan yung appointment ko. Sabi ko, March 13. Sabi niya, tumawag pa ako ng ibang uh, imaging center para mas malapit yung appointment date ko. So, naghanap ako. Siyempre, sumunod na naman ako. Doon nung una, sabi ko sa kanya, hindi okay na yun. <laughs> Nahanap kami ng March 7. I remember, nag-vlog ako noon kasi <laughs> vloggers na ang atin yung hindi. Ano, <laughs> wala lang. Gusto ko lang, gusto ko lang mag-take ng video noon. So, i-insert ko siya pag nahanap ko. Tiyanin! Good morning! I just did some procedure a while ago. It's ultrasound of the abdomen and the pelvis. And I really don't know how to explain it. But I just feel like my stomach is getting bigger for the past month. And uh, I feel like, I mean, I am a bit scared or worried, but at the same time, I am, I am just so, I just don't want this to steal my peace. At least I know if I just need exercise, diba? Kasi mataba lang yung chan. What steal my peace is that I don't really know whether there is an underlying cause of it. But of course, uh, I'm putting my faith and my trust in my savior and my healer that no work of the enemy will prosper, of course. That's it! Yeah, pray for me, guys. Ayan. And yung resulta, dumating siya ng March 11. March 11, I was diagnosed with ovarian cyst. March 11, sabi sa akin, kailangan niyang operahan. March 11, birthday ng tatay ko. So, I'm kind of mixed emotions that day. But, I'm steady still. <laughs> Oo. Hindi ko alam kung hindi lang ba siya nagsisinkin. Kahit tinatanong na ako ng doktor namin kung anong plano ko. Kailan ako magpapa-opera? Paano gagawin? May insurance ba? May insurance naman sa clinic. So, ayun. Uh, hindi siya nagsisinkin hanggang matapos yung work ko. Tapos, nung naglalakad na ako pa uwi, umiiyak ako. So, pero yung iya ko, naalala ko kasi, wala akong why moment. Wala akong bakit ganito, bakit nangyari to, bakit ako, wala akong ganun. In my conversation with the Lord, I was actually asking Him to move. I'm asking Him, I, wanna, I told Him I want to see Him. I want Him to take me out in that situation. Secured. Yung faith, yung trust. Ayun, and parang hindi ko pa agad siya nasabi sa ate ko nun kasi late nata silang umuwi nun. So, I'm actually crying myself to sleep that night. Tapos, natahimik lang ako. Kasi hindi ko siya kayang i-share pa sa ibang tao. Ayun. And then, uh, days pass by. May mga moments pa rin ako na naiiyak ako. All of a sudden, ganun. And then, Uh, nung mga time na yon, natatanggap ko na na I'm for operation. Actually, nagtanong pa ako sa staff din sa previous hospital ko sa Pilipinas. Tinatanong ko kung magkano yung operation, kung ano yung gagawin. Kasi feeling ko, mas mababayaran ko siya kung sa Pinas ako o operahan. Tapos, one Sunday, uh, I was in the church. Tapos, nagpa-pray ako sa church. Ah, sa intercessory nang nangyayari sa life ko. Then, she told me na, go ahead for the procedure. Go ahead. Wala kang babayaran. And lo and behold, God is good. Wala akong binayaran, even a single cent. And that's where, this, yun na. Uh, but before I go further, ayun nga, so, nakaka, nag-start na na makita mo yung pagmamahal ni Lord. Kasi, hindi ko pa alam, pero yung mga doctors sa clinic, they're actually looking for doctors na na pwedeng mag-opera sa akin. And uh, yung doctor na napili nila, classmate siya nung isang doctor sa clinic. So, sinamahan niya ako, nagpa-check up kami, and doon na sinabi sa akin yung gagawin, na it has to be removed, kasi sobrang laki niya. So, makapag-insert ako ng photo dito. 
Pero itong mga photos na to, no, hindi ko talagang, talagang zero, di, zero talaga. Parang iniisip ko bilang talaga siya. That's why it took me that long. Tapos, ayun. So, in-explain sa akin na operahan ako. Pwedeng one or two days lang ako sa hospital, gano'n. And based on the result, baka hindi naman daw i-remove yung leftover ko. But, sa OR table, doon na sila nag-decide na kailangan din siyang ma-remove kasi may blood vessel na pwedeng uh, pumutok anytime. So, iniwasan na lang yun. Kaya, tinanggal din yung leftover ko. I only have right one. Yung right ovary. So, ayun. Uh, uh, and, during those time when you were to ask God to move and you want to experience His goodness, Yung acknowledgement actually starts when I see the people that He has given me. <laughs> Ito na iyak. That He has given me na they're actually there. They are present. From the prayers, from being with me uh, sa admission, after my operation, and nung nag-discharge na ako sa hospital, I am thankful for the people na kasama ko. And, ayun, tapos overnight lang ako sa ospital. Wala nga akong antibiotic pag over. <laughs> Kasi sabi nila, yung operation, sobrang linis. Ayun, and, naalala ko when, after ng operation ko, mga two hours siguro, post-operation, ito na ako, naglalakad na ako. Because <laughs> being a nurse, you know, that ambulation is very important. So, ina-apply ko naman siya nang na-operahan ako. And then, dumala yung isang doktor namin. Uh, she's actually asking me kung ano yung mga concerns ko. Ano yung worries ko. Sabi ko, medyo worried ako na baka yung difficulty of, ano, pagbubuntis. Ganon. But she actually told me na worried siya kung ano ang resulta ng histopath. Kung benign ba or malignant yung cyst na nakuha. And, praise God, kasi benign, hindi naman sila malignant, hindi sila cancerous. So, favor na yun Lord, breakthrough na yun, diba? It's a testimony, and, I know, uh, after nun, siyempre, overnight lang ako sa, sa hospital. Then, even yung payment, we know that God provides. What He started, He will finish it. And, hanggang ngayon, diba? That's why, a child of before, a child today, handled in the presence of the Lord, is a joyful memory of tomorrow. And this is my tomorrow. And it is a joyful memory worthy to be shared. That's why I'm sharing it in this video. As ayon, wala akong binayaran. Tapos, yung doctor namin, piling ko ang discount nun kasi kakalasi siya nung doctor sa clinic. Tapos, yung gynecologist ko, he's actually the first one to perform a single uh, incision laparoscopy slash ophorectomy in Singapore. And he's invited to perform that also in different countries like Indonesia and even sa Pilipinas. So, ang galing yung talaga ni Lord. Only God. <laughs> Only Jesus. Tapos, ayun, and after ng operation, guys, actually cry. Nung ginigising na ka ng anesthesiologist, sabi niya sa akin, tapos na. Tapos, hagulgul talaga yung iya ko. Halo-halo na siguro yun na, oh, tapos na. Sobrang bilis lang. And then, yung recovery ko, ang bilis lang din. I don't, actually, wala akong scar sa katawan. Kasi nga, single incision lang. Tapos, sa may, uh, tapos hindi, hindi visible yung sugat. Ayun. And, up to now, that's yung acknowledgement talaga na, yung pinasisyon mo yung sarili mo. Siguro nagtatanong, baka magtanong kayo kung uh, bakit wala akong mga bakit moment, <laughs> bakit least kay Lord. Siguro in this journey, when I get to know Christ as my Lord and Savior, I am starting to position myself so secured in the presence of the Lord na kung sakaling may pagdadaanan ako sa buhay ko, pwede ka lang masik, pero hindi ka alis sa presence niya. And, Ayokong dumating sa point na iya-anchor ko lang yung sarili ko kay Lord kapag may pinagdadaanin ako. But I wanna secure myself 
so full of him. Na kapag may pinagdaanan ako, alam ko kung paano ko siya i-handle. Of course, yung mga crying moments ko and yung conversation ko kay Lord, may worries, may fear. Pero, I would want to face it. Nandun ako sa facing kung ano yung challenge na yun. Nandun ako sa moment na I wanna see you. I want you to move. I want you to reveal your love, your provision over my life. And He is true to His promises when He say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is true to that. And up to now, ganun pa rin siya. Hindi siya nagbabago. And just in case, tapos ayun pala, uh, nagpa, um, ayun, I was advised to uh, na magpa-ultrasound ulit after a year. And nagpa-ultrasound ako ng December 2020. Visible na yung ovary ko. Yung right. Kasi dun sa previous hindi. Tapos, Uh, okay na din yung kidneys ko, yung daanan ng ihe kasi na-block siya or na-press siya nung cyst before kasi sobrang laki nga nung cyst. Uh, para talaga akong buntis kasi nun. And then, ngayon visible na sila, okay na sila. And praise God na, alam mo yung may worries ka na bang mahirapan ka pero si Lord naman yung magtatanggal ng worries sa life natin. And, Ayun, I just uh, I just wanna encourage you kung nanonood ka man at uh, na baka may baka pareho tayo ng pinagdaanan or pinagdadaanan to put your faith and trust in the Lord because He who promised is faithful. And kung feeling mo naman mas mabigat yung pinagdadaanan mo kumpara sa pinagdaanan ko, pwedeng magkaiba tayo ng season, pwedeng mag- magkaiba tayo ng pinagdaanan but we have the same God. And naniniwala ako na what He did to me, He will do it also. Pwedeng ibang paraan, but He will also provide, He will also heal, and He will also work in your life and in your situation. So, ayun, and so towards the end, I should share ko yung verse na inispeak sa akin ni Lord during those moments. And uh, I just want uh, to to be an encouragement uh, to the people na makakapanood. Hindi man sa lahat, kahit sa isa lang, <laughs> na God is with you as He is with me. God is with us. Ayun. So, ito may mga ibang photos ako of ng operation. <laughs> Baka matakot kayo, pero ayan. Ayan, mga photos. Ayan. So, meron pang ayun, mga ibang photos ng operation. And, I'm grateful that I'm still here. Diba? Na, God is, uh, yung assurance that I have in the Lord, na, masyashake, pero hindi bibitaw. <laughs> so, yun lang naman. The end. Uh, it is a joyful memory of today. Ayun lang yung, and, at this, the testimony of ours to glorify the name of Jesus. Yan, and if you will... Sana makapag-upload pa ako ng ibang video. <laughs> Kasi ang tagal. But I hope and I pray that you're encouraged. I hope and I pray that uh, you will look forward to seeing how God will move in your life. Uh, and to look yung hindi mawala yung hope mo for a better tomorrow. Because God is a living hope. And thank you and... On to the next. <laughs> Bye.